from the KATC Weather Lab. Here's Bradley's forecast. Welcome back. Well, hard to beat the weather out there today. Lots of sunshine, seasonable temperatures right where we should be for the time of year. Lower 60s earlier this afternoon. Another nice one to round out the weekend tomorrow. A little bit more cloud cover, but not too terribly bad. Slightly warmer, and that's going to be the trend into Monday, Tuesday as well. But we do have a cold front that gets here on Wednesday, bringing our next storm chance. Plus a cool down, it looks like, by next weekend. So we'll take a look at the extended forecast in just a second. But first, satellite radar composite. Again, we are relatively quiet here across the Gulf Coast. Now, we do have a weak upper level feature that's currently pushing through the area. That will continue tonight and throughout the day tomorrow. And yeah, you can notice producing at least some cloud cover here. So we're going to go in between mostly clear skies and at times partly to mostly cloudy conditions overnight tonight. But again, we're staying dry, stays chilly, low to mid 40s by tomorrow morning. So just not quite as cold as where we were this past morning, but still jackets and coats out the door. First thing on our Sunday morning. Otherwise, again, we'll see some passing clouds throughout our Sunday. Temperatures notice even a little bit milder than today. I think most of us pushing near 70 degrees. Winds very light only at around three to six miles per hour. And again, we're too dry at the surface to get any sort of precipitation with that upper level feature. So no rain chances, not only tomorrow, but into Monday as well. Better signal for fog as we head into Monday morning, especially across western portions of the state. Otherwise, stays chilly uh, for our overnights and early mornings, mid 40s, and then lots of sunshine for our Monday. Most of us get into lower 70s by Monday afternoon as those winds will be starting to become breezy out of the south southwest uh, we will say 6 to 12 and those gusts at times even a little bit higher than that. Now best chance to see the upper 30s tonight. Northern portions of Acadiana will say Opelousas, Ville Platte, Oakdale on northward, but most of us pretty much hovering in the low to mid 40s uh, again here along the I-10 corridor and then that's pretty much the way it's going to go across the coastal parishes and of course always a little bit warmer out there towards Cameron. After that chilly start, again, mild finish tomorrow afternoon, upper 60s to near 70 degrees, under fair to partly cloudy skies, mid 40s tomorrow night into our Monday morning. And then here we go. We're pushing the lower 70s Monday afternoon under mostly sunny skies. So 43 your projected low temperature tonight. Again, at times it'll be clear. Other times we'll see some passing clouds out there. Maybe some patches, uh, patches of fog as well in spots first thing tomorrow morning, but not anything that would be overly widespread. And then for our Sunday again, pretty nice into the weekend, upper 60s to near 70 degrees. So definitely a little bit milder than today. Winds very light, only coming in at around three to six miles per hour. Tuesday, look at these temperatures. We're going to be in the mid 70s. Few passing showers, uh, but best rain chances, really storm chances of the 10 day forecast is going to be coming on Wednesday as our next cold front is going to be pushing through Acadiana and that should give us a really good chance at some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Looks like a decent soaking of at least one to two inches uh, at this point. Probably going to be some sort of a severe weather risk as well, but we'll see how that plays out over the next couple of days. Secondary front gets here on Friday and that is likely going to send in another round of winter like temperatures as we head into the following weekend highs in the 50s there overnight lows potentially dropping into the 30s but in the short term again uh, pretty nice weather here as we round out the weekend we're in the 40s by tomorrow morning upper 60s to near 70 degrees by tomorrow afternoon. So it's a little bit chilly for Taylor personally, but I don't know about Bradley. What you uh, think? No, I think it's okay as long as it's not uh, the kind of dreary, gloomy, rainy conditions we had really. What was it? Thursday and Wednesday of this past week. That's yeah. good napping weather. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, it's good napping weather, but uh, I, I had to work at least. Bradley so doesn't sleep. Place. Bradley doesn't sleep. He's always <laughs> busy doing that weather stuff. As yeah, you know. it's, and look, I, I'm happy with the sunshine and it's good. And it fell on a weekend finally, so I think most people are happy with that. Good stuff. We appreciate your hard work. Thanks, Thanks for that.